Hi everybody, I'm David Paul, Chief Meteorologist here at KHOU 11 News. You know, the price of living on the Gulf Coast is being prepared for hurricane season. But it's so easy to become complacent. It's been a long time since we've had a big storm. Ike in 08 was really the last big one. And before that, you had to go back all the way to 1983 in Alicia. So, you know, we've been through these storms, the ones that have hit us, and even the ones that have missed us but caused mayhem like Rita. And so we've gathered all our experience together and put together this series of videos so you and your family, and especially if you're new to the area, can watch them, gather all the knowledge that we have gained over the years, and get your family ready for when the next storm finally does decide to come. Hey there, I'm meteorologist Cheetah Craft, and we want to keep you weather smart by getting you and your family prepared for what to put in your hurricane kit. I am joined with Caroline Stubbs, her amazing family here Hi. in League City. <laughs> Thank you, Caroline. Absolutely. All right, you're fairly new to Houston. Yes. You moved when and where from? So we moved in early 2022 from Montana. Okay, so you shifted kind of from that cold extreme yes. to now hurricane extreme. <laughs> All the extremes, I should say. Okay, so Caroline has done an amazing job of getting her family prepared with her hurricane kit by uh, already having water ready to go. Think one gallon per person per day. Um, a first aid kit, that's important. I love this, a can opener. Yes. Non-perishable food items. You may have your canned foods ready to go. How are you going to open it? Don't forget this. All right, tell us about this. How does this work? Okay, so these are from my Montana roots. It's a big camping state, and so we thought we would take a camping stove, and which is powered by this propane, and we could heat up all of our canned foods yeah. or freezables that are about to go bad. Um, so. Um, it's such a great idea. Yeah, this is great for your hurricane kit. Mm -hmm. Also, if we have a deep freeze, we have been through that for the past couple of years. Yeah. Um, your flashlight, and this is a great flashlight. That would produce a lot of light, extra batteries. Then an extra cell phone battery pack. A lot yes. of times people forget about this to just have an extra battery pack in their hurricane kit. That's amazing to let people know you're safe. A NOAA radio. Yes. I love this. So this one is solar powered and it also has a flashlight and can act like a power brick as well. So. And you said you got this when you moved here. I did. Yeah. I, I went it. online and found it. <laughs> You're like, this will be helpful. Um, baby wipes, they're used for everything. I know mom's goes to right away. Right. Um, and no books. You lose power, what are your kids gonna do? Yes, so any parent would know that's a very important yes. thing to uh, plan for is how are you gonna keep your kids' minds entertained, especially during a stressful time like that. I so we it. have books, we can do games, coloring. I also saw some guitars, so I like yes. that. That can, be, <laughs> that can be a way. Okay, the most amazing thing about you, Caroline, is you have a printed kit ready to go of what you need. Right. And you know, I also wanna draw attention, she's handwritten phone numbers that are important to you and your family. Mm. So that way um, you would be able to access those um, in case you lose power and, exactly. and the cell phone towers go down. I love that you did that. Yeah, that was uh, super important. There's um, evacuation routes printed on there. I have one in my car with an atlas that I ordered as well, just in case we had to go old school, so. Caroline, and you do, when you lose power, mm. you do. I, you are so prepared. Thank you for joining me today to help get um, everyone else prepared and ready to go during this hurricane season. We want to keep you weather smart. You can always go to KHOU.com and see the full list of things to put in your hurricane kit to keep you safe at home. All right, thank you. I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Pat Cadlin, and we are keeping you weather smart this hurricane season. The first question that a homeowner asks before buying their home, especially in the Houston area, is has the area ever flooded in the past? A very important question to a flood prone area such as the city of Houston. I'm standing outside of Attic's Reservoir, where in 2017, during Harvey, this very system was overwhelmed by the tremendous amount of rainfall that fell in just a few days. Now, fortunately, the city has a complex and world-class system of bayous and reservoirs to help mitigate the risk of inland flooding. However, there are situations like we've seen in the past with Hurricane Harvey, where even that system can become overwhelmed. Residents near the Attic's Reservoir experienced this firsthand during Hurricane Harvey when extreme amounts of rainfall overwhelmed this system, 
leading to flooding that people never thought they would experience. So here are some things for you to know to stay weather smart. One, know your location. Know if the spot that you live in has flooded in the past. Also, know if you live upstream or downstream from a reservoir or a bayou because that can make all the difference if these systems become overwhelmed in the future. Two, evacuation plans. Those are typically meant for folks at the coast to get them away from deadly storm surge, which means if you live in a freshwater inland flood prone area, you're not going to be included in that. So it's your job to know if your location floods and to have a place to go safely before the storm begins. And three, flood insurance. That's a totally separate policy than your homeowner's insurance. So if you live in an area that has flooded before, you need to invest in that. And it's also important to note that that policy takes 30 days to go into effect. So it's not something that you can buy a day or even a few weeks before a storm comes to your area. Bottom line is that awareness is key. So following these tips will help to keep you and your family safe and weather smart during this hurricane season in Southeast Texas. Hi everybody. I'm KHOU 11 Chief Meteorologist David Paul, and we are in Cyprus where we are surrounded by trees. When a hurricane comes, when we get the next big one, these trees will become a huge threat as wind gusting 100 and above will have a real potential to bring hundreds, thousands of these trees down. One of the big factors in keeping your family safe and weather smart during a hurricane is understanding the risk that trees will bring when a big hurricane finally comes in. When you're the homeowner here in Cyprus and your house was literally hit by a tree, multiple trees. Three trees. Your family was home at the time. Tell me about what they went through and what they saw and, and how they made it through. My wife and daughter were home and then luckily they were in the front room and she described where when it actually came through, she could not see the street. Everything just darkened and she could not see the street. I was down in downtown, so she texted me saying, we have water in the house. And then, so my first thing was, did you turn off the, the, the main valve? Because we didn't know that the, the tree had fallen. When you got home and saw the damage the tree had done, did it hit you, the type of danger your family had, had been in and had made it through? Absolutely, especially in our daughter's room where like a big branch just literally penetrated the entire um, house and it, it, it landed vertical um, in her room. So you can clearly see the danger that trees bring to your home and your family when a storm is moving through. So how do you keep yourself safe, as safe as possible, when a hurricane's coming in and trees all around you have the potential to come down? Here's where the tree came crashing through the ceiling, bringing down cross members and exposing electrical from the house. This is incredibly dangerous. In an exterior room like this, you're also exposed to windows, which can bring in the threat of flying broken glass. Let me show you where you would be much safer during a storm. That's in an interior room, like a closet or a hallway like this, where you're surrounded by cross members. If a tree comes down here, there's much more frame of the house around you to keep your family safe. This is a great way to stay safe and weather smart when the next big storm hits. Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Ramirez, and this hurricane season, KHOU 11 is dedicated with providing you with information at keeping you and your family prepared and safe, and that includes checking and maintaining your home. You want to make sure that those loose items are secure and put away in a safe spot because they tend to come flying projectiles when those winds start increasing during a tropical storm or hurricane. So that's a good thing to do to keep you and your neighbors safe. You want to check the trees that are around your home because any limbs that are hanging above your house could also break off during high winds and become a threat to damage to you and your property. Trimming those limbs could lessen that threat. As you continue to assess your home, you want to make sure that those roof shingles are very well maintained because when the winds get high doing a tropical storm or hurricane, one of the first things to go are those shingles. So you want to make sure that those are replaced before hurricane season begins. Another sensitive place in your home, of course, are the windows. You want to check those windows to make sure that there are no gaps, leaks or holes 
because that could increase the pressure in your home and that could provide destruction and damage to other locations inside your house. What a lot of people don't know is that those garage doors are also a sensitive location in your house and you would want to make sure that they are rated for impact because once your garage doors are compromised that usually starts increasing the pressure inside your home and your home acts as if it's a balloon once it starts blowing up and eventually it will pop on a personal level my father who lived through hurricane carla always told me is that once those hurricane force winds busted through his house and the interior of his house was exposed, it literally caused the roof of his home to lift up. And it's a good reminder to make sure that your home is secure and safe when it comes to hurricane season. KU2 11 meteorologist Kim Castro here. We are on the seawall talking storm surge. This is the most dangerous and threatening component of a hurricane for folks that live along the coast. So we're taking it to the experts that have been here through decades of experiencing this type of hazard. We're here with Johnny Smecca from Mario Seawall Italian restaurant and pizzeria. You've been through the gamut of risks, hazards, dangers, rebuilding and reestablishing yourself. Take me through what you've been through, starting with Alicia in 1983. Yes, yeah, so in 1983, um, our original restaurant was destroyed. And so we rebuilt after that. And this is part of that rebuild from 1983. Uh, Alicia for us was a major wind event. And so not a lot of water damage, but wind. And so a lot of our buildings back then, not up to the same codes. Um, were destroyed uh, yeah. and ours was one of them. So then you rebuild and then we'll take it over to Ike in 2008, a huge catastrophic event for the island. What happened there, not only with this restaurant, but some more properties that you have yes. closer to downtown? Yes, so um, the two restaurants on the seawall, Mario's Seawall and Papa's Pizza, uh, both you know, were saved by the seawall. So we were fine there, some wind damage, but we made it through that. The three restaurants downtown actually were, um, had eight foot of water in its buildings, so totally destroyed, totally had to rebuild. Yeah, just tried to envision eight feet of water, you know, and Ike had between 15 to 20 feet of water. It's that cyclonic rotation within a hurricane, the winds that really push those waves on top of each other. Even a cubic yard of water has the power of 1,700 pounds. So no surprise the kind of damage it can create. And I asked you if you were here for Ike and you said, well, my property was here, but I sure wasn't. So one of the things I think is important for anybody listening is that you heed the warnings, you listen to your local officials. And um, once they gave some of those early indications, you know, I have elderly parents and I had young children. So for me, it was smart to close up shop, give my employees the opportunity to make plans and to get off the island. And if you remember, you know, several uh, storms passed, there was a lot of traffic jams on the mm -hmm. highway. And so we kind of thought ahead and at least five days out began to prep and get our employees off the island. What is the main contributing factor to what kind of damage these areas will get and why? So up on the seawall, we prepare ourselves for wind. So, you know, boarding windows, boarding entry points is important on the seawall. But when you get downtown, you're kind of left you know to take care of the aftermath because the water uh where the, you're at the lowest point downtown and so when the water rises it'll come in um, from the back side sometimes which happened in hurricane ike and so it's hard it's hard to prepare for that right it's hard you can put up sandbags and things like that but when it gets to eight foot of you know height like it did for ike mm -hmm. it's very difficult to prepare for that so the difference is seawall you know you have the you have the protection of mm -hmm. 19, you know, since the 1900s, the downtown doesn't have that luxury. And elevation and proximity to that storm surge all dictates what your evacuation zone is. It is incredibly important to be educated on that and to come up with a plan. What is the closest spot I could safely evacuate to without being at risk for a traffic jam? All those components are very important to think about. Make sure you're keeping up with us on KHAU.com to keep you weather smart during this hurricane season. So now you know what we know about these hurricanes that have come through and the threats that they bring, but you know, every single storm is different, different threats, different angles, different strengths, almost like each one has a different personality. So during hurricane season, 
stay close to the forecast with us. Stay weather smart with us. Watch the weather at least once a day so you and your family never get caught off guard and everybody stays safe.